Hey, Darren, how do you maintain your leadership off the court as you deal with this injury? Uh, I mean, you just keep trying to, I mean, from a, from, from that standpoint, you just keep trying to learn. Uh, we actually put some new things in. And then after Luke came to me, like, draw what I draw what we just put in. So uh, just always being able to pay attention and locked in even when you're not out there. Yeah, just to take us through what happened and it was how much worse was it than maybe what you thought initially? Uh, well, I mean, every time I twist my ankle, Joe sees it. And he's like, and uh, for me, like it happened a couple times last year, and I'll be walking. He'll ask me, I'm like, well, I'm fine. Like, so when it happened, and like I tried to walk, and I couldn't walk. He's like, yeah, something's wrong. But um, I mean, I just heard it pop. Uh, I mean, it just happened so it happened so quickly that like no one saw it until we like watched the film, and then we saw what happened. But um, and things like that happen. Have you had an injury like this in recent memory? Uh, I've never been hurt. Never. <laughs> nah. Uh, I had turf toe in high school once, and I had a hip pointer once, but it's probably out for like a week, maybe two weeks, um, with the with the hip pointer. But other than that, I've never been hurt. So when you, when you go through the tests and they tell you, hey, you're going to be out for a while, what's your initial reaction, and how have you kind of reflected on that and kind of, I guess, accepted it and um, make the best of it? I mean, when after I got the MRI and the X-ray, like before I even got the results, I knew I was going to be out for a while. Like. Uh, like, I'd never been like an ankle sprain that I had before. And um, and when Joe called me that night and told me, it was like, kind of expected it. But at the same time, it's like my heart dropped. Like, I'd never missed time like this. Um, must be more time than I missed both my first two seasons uh, combined. So, um, I mean, you just look at it from a different standpoint. Um, kind of look at it like a coach. Uh, you got to see the game, you know, in different ways. So, um, I mean, injuries aren't always a bad thing, I guess. Will it change anything in the way you Go. I mean, obviously you're gonna be out for a little while, but I mean, when you get back on the floor, do you feel like it changes any approach to the game or anything like that? Uh, no, I wouldn't say so. Um, obviously, I don't feel like I'm. I'm not gonna get back out there until you know I know I can play, until I know I'm 100 percent and uh, I'm able to help the team. So, but I don't think um, you know my hope. You know that I, that I can play without you know worrying about anything else. They told they told us you wouldn't even be reevaluated for another three to four weeks. What's the earliest timetable they said possible for you? I uh, haven't been a timetable. I can't even walk around my house yet, so so uh, I don't I don't know what a timetable is just yet. Yeah, have, have you asked around or talked to doctors about how long an injury like this usually takes to heal? Uh, yeah, but like you say, uh, I'll be reevaluating reevaluating in three weeks. Uh, it could take six weeks. Some players have been out for months, so. I mean, you never know with a, with a, with a sprained ankle. And um, I mean, I'm just taking it day by day and taking my time with it. How well do you feel you guys are able to stop the loss of your absence? I think we're great. I mean, you know, we won the first game. Um, I think guys look great. The defense has definitely stepped up. And uh, guys are continuing to gel together. Um, I mean, that's why you're bringing someone like Corey. Obviously, Bogey is a great playmaker. He can do a lot of things. Um, you know, we've always talked about how deep this team is. And I think, you know, we showed it with the first game. I know it was just one game, but do you differences in the way they play? Uh, no, I mean, still trying to play fast. Uh, I think we were better, you know, the last five games defensively and rebounding. Uh, so I feel like as that continues to get better, um, you know, obviously Buddy struggled a little bit, but shots are going to fall. Um, I don't see the team playing any differently. What have you heard from your teammates and what has your message to them been? I mean, just keep playing. Like we said before, it's always the next man up mentality. Um, we have a lot of guys in each position. Uh, so if somebody goes down, you know, we have a lot of guys that can step up. So uh, for me, I mean, they know I'm with them. Um, and I just tell them what I see. Uh, you know, I wasn't on the bench because, like, being on the bench, guys stand up, you move around. I'm like, bro, I can't even, I can barely stand up on my own. So uh, I'm, I was back in the locker room, and they come back, uh, ask me how they, uh, you know, what I what I see, still things like that. And, um, I mean, like I said, I'm always with those guys, and uh, they did a hell of a job the first game. How painful is it right now? Because it, it felt like maybe you guys were. Turning the corner and figuring some things out. Oh, for sure. But I mean, even without me, they still turn that corner, so I think they'll be fine. You talked about how much pain it was initially. How much pain are you in now? Um, I mean, just sitting or just sitting here, uh, I think I'm fine. But just knowing when I get up and if I if I try to walk, just knowing how painful it is. So um, I say it's. I mean, it's, it's going to be a process for me. Were you just running and then you t like turned it like you normally would? And uh, no, nah, it was like like actually in a play. So it was like so many people around that, like I said, when it happened, like no one really knew what happened. Like I tried to walk and then I started limping. And I'm like, Yo, I can't walk and just hopped onto the training room. So, but uh, like nobody actually knew what happened until we until we had watched the film. Did it turn out or in? Uh, in. Oh. No, no, I lied. Out. Okay, good.
I mean, it's like a regular, it's like normal sprain. It's not a high ankle sprain? No, no, it's a low, but it's a grade three, so. Have you talked to anyone that you know that's kind of experienced this injury, kind of what they've been through at all? Uh, nah, um, I think everybody's different, so I just go about it how I go about it. You know, if it heals quickly, it heals quickly. If it takes longer, then it'll take longer. What's the plan for you? I mean, uh, you know, they travel to LA, then they're gonna go on, on East next week. Are you gonna go with the team and do treatment? Or do uh, as of right now, I'm not going. Um, you know, with the medical staff, you know, that doesn't help inflation, so. Uh, I'm actually going to stay back with those. How tough is this weekend going to be? Just, you know, the, the two teams with the best two records in the NBA, and obviously you're powerless to, to do anything. Um, I mean, I let that. I mean, I leave that on my team and the coaching staff. Uh, like I said, I feel like we hit a corner. Um, you know, these last five games, and I mean, they played well. You know, against Portland, especially defensively. So I feel like if we keep that up, I think you know we're in a good place, no matter who's out there. Are you out of the mood already, or just is this temporary? No, nah, no, nah, I got some workout stuff, so I took the boot off. So it's, it's on and off. You're yeah, still, yeah, yeah. I'm still. If I'm walking without the crutches, I gotta have the boot on. So. All things considered, that motherfucker heavy as shit. When I got, <laughs> when I got the when I got the crutches on, it's heavy to carry. All things considered, would you say you're in good spirits, mood? Is it good yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, like I said, um, with the way the team was turning, with the, with the way I feel like we were playing, you know, these last four or five games, um, even though I went down, I feel like the, the spirits were still high. You know, you don't want to let something like this, you know, be able to bring the team down. So, um, I mean, I'm still happy. You know, I'm still. You know, still smiling while we're in the gym, uh, just keeping everything up because I feel like you know we're in a good place right now. Winning helps. Yeah, yeah, winning all, winning, winning, winning solves a lot of problems. So uh, that's something that we're trying to continue.